everyone. Today we will be walking you through the Savian to RACAF integration using the IDMWorks LDAP gateway. As you can see in the architecture diagram, we have three different components, Savient, IDMWorks LDAP gateway, and the RACAF. In the Savient, we need to set up an LDAP connector, which uses the standard LDAP protocol to communicate to IDMWorks LDAP gateway, which in turn communicates to RACAF through Voyager or the Pioneer agents. Voyager agent is mainly used for reconciliation and the Pioneer agent is mainly used for provisioning. So we can onboard the RACAF Identity Forge application to Savient using our application onboarding framework powered by Savient Exchange. By clicking Browse App Marketplace, we will be connected to the Savient Exchange where we can look out for the RACAF Identity Forge application and we can download it from there. Once you download the application from the Savient Exchange, you can start the configuration of that particular application. So we have downloaded this application from Savient Exchange. Now click on the create button and give the specific name. And you can select the features which you want to include as part of the application onboarding and you have to give the different uh, prerequisites to set up the connection like host name and the domain and base DN informations. So base DN will be the RACAF domain name from the Identity Forge directory. Once you completed this step, you can complete the enrollment, which is a part of rapid onboarding. So now we, the connector will be created, as you can see, and all the details you are given will be uh, configured and also the JSONs will be built out automatically. As you can see, the URL has been constructed and they, even the username, password, and all the other details to connect securely to Identity Forge directories, even the object filters and all the pre-populated JSONs, which will help to quickly connect to the Identity Forge directories. Even the provisioning use cases like create account, update account, enable account details, and even the reconciliations and uh, unique checker and the password policies, everything will be pre-populated. So do the security system and the endpoint. So it's part of the AOB uh, template and the package. So you don't need to do anything manually. So the next step will be to go to the job control panel and kickstart the job, which brings the data from the Identity Forge, which has the rack of information. So once the job has been completed, the data will be reconciled from the RACAF uh, Identity Force directory. And as you can see in the screen, the accounts, we, those are all the RACAF users. We brought in our close to 2,500 of uh, RACAF users. And we brought in some of the other additional attributes, which all can be configured in the account attribute sections. And also as part of the entitlements, uh, we have the RACAF groups, which are listed out. Now let's request a brand new account to one of the users, which is Jerry Howard, to create a user in the RACAF using our ARS module. As you can see, the Jerry Howard doesn't have any access. So we'll select an application, which is RACAF in our case. In the second step of the request access for others, we'll request a new account. And we'll submit the request for the brand new account for this user. As you can see, the new account task has been created for this user to create a uh, account in the RACAF. And we will be running the provisioning job to do the provisioning back to the RACAF application. Now let's see if this user got created in the RACAF side. We have provisioned the empty RACAF C user, which is a Jerry Howard. As you can see in the screen, it has been listed here. Now uh, we have also set the password from the Savient side using our password policy. So let's see if we can able to log in uh, using this uh, user 
into rack of the with the password we have set so it's asking for the initial password we have set and the system is mandating to reset the password upon the first login Once the password has been set, it's showing that we are processing the brand new user to login. Yeah, the user is able to log into the RackApp system. The next use case will be to request a group for this user we just created into the RACAF. So the Jerry Howard doesn't have any groups at this time and we are requesting using our ERS module. We are modifying an existing account and requesting the new group, which is Argon7. And we have submitted the group request. As you can see that as ad access task has been created for the Cherry Howard, we can provision this by running the provisioning job. Now let's see if this user got the group, which is Argon7, we just requested from the Savient and we have provisioned. We can list this user in the rack of side and see if that group got added. As you can see here, the group got added to this user mracaf. The last use case will be uh, disabling the user from Savient, which in turn disable the user at the RACAF side, which is we are using the ERS module again here, where we are request submitting the request to disable the user, which in turn creates the task where we run the provisioning job which will remove the user from the rack app side. At the rack app side, we are trying to log in using the user empty rack app, but it's already been disabled. So let's see what rack app do, right? So as you can see, it's rejected the login request and it has to contact the administrators. That's the termination use case. That completes the rack, save into rack of integration. For more information, we recommend you to visit the Savient Exchange website, which is savient.com slash integration. Thank you.